New tonight, we're hearing new reaction to Governor Raimondo's State of the State address. Last night, the governor unveiled her plan to make the state more business friendly while dealing with a budget deficit, which means one thing, taxes. And now we're hearing different perspectives on the budget blueprint and when it comes to taxes and fees. We're 49 out of 50 in terms of punitive unemployment insurance tax rates imposed on businesses. So a major initiative to bring the rates down and make us more competitive. That is very well, uh, was very well received by the business community. But two other tax proposals are drawing fierce criticism tonight. A 25 cent hike on cigarettes to nearly $4 a pack and tags for medical marijuana plants, $150 for patients who grow at home, and $350 for caregivers who grow for up to five patients. Polly Reynolds grows at home. She has multiple sclerosis. I was so offended when I see a front page that says jobs, 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 and the number two bullet is to tax uh, people who are growing a plant of marijuana. Regulate Rhode Island Director Jared Moffitt says the state has it wrong. There's a huge revenue base there for people who use marijuana as a recreational uh, substance who prefer it over alcohol, but there's no need to tax people who desperately need it for their uh, health condition who need it as a medicine. And that marijuana tax, along with a proposed tax hike on cigarettes, is drawing fierce criticism tonight. But business leaders are praising the governor's proposed rate reduction on the unemployment insurance tax.